Alrighty, welcome to your 23rd GMO Beginners tutorial. I got a little game thing set up. I got a player and a wall and a little map here. You know what? Just for fun, because I love you guys, I'll make the background purple. So, uh, let's go ahead and make our little movement engine. I've got a step event and a code. So, I'm going to do something new. If keyboard, check, parentheses. In the parentheses, I'm going to write O-R-D. Now I'm going to set another case of parentheses. And then in the parentheses, I'm going to put quotations, double quotations. Now in the quotation, double quotations, I'm going to put the letter A. Now I can proceed. Brackets. X minus equal 5. Now if keyboard under slash check parenthesis, board, parenthesis, quotation, D, quotation, and my parentheses, X plus equal 5. Now, what does this do? This ORD and crap. Uh, all this is doing is checking for actual letters and keys and stuff. You know, before we were doing the um, VK under slash left, VK under slash right, VK up, um, down, space, return, which would be the enter key. Uh, stuff like that is all VK uh, for actual letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. You would put ORD, and then in parentheses, in double quotations, you would put the letter that you actually want. So it's parentheses, then inside those parentheses, you put ORD. And in parentheses, and then inside those parentheses, you put quotations, and inside the quotations, you put the letter you want. You know, they couldn't make it easy. They couldn't just put, if keyboard, check, A. No, they had to make it hard on us. So, yeah, that's something you need to memorize. And this will just basically let us move left with our A key and right with our D key. So it's a cool, you can do a little WASD keyboard moving with this. Um, so we have that, and this is just going to move us left and right. You know what X does, minus equal 5, and plus equal 5. You should know what that does. moves you left and right. So we're going to learn a new little thing here. If instance place X plus 10, Y, OBG under slash wall. Then show message. There's a wall in front of you. There you go. Instance place is a cool condition we have. Uh, this is basically going to check if there's a wall directly in front of us. And why is it checking if it's in front of us? Because we have x plus 10. So again, this is checking our x and y position. So this is just ch checking 10 little x pixels if you can put it that way. Just checking 10 little spaces in front of our X position, which we know is to our right. So it's checking, all right, is this object, obg under slash wall, 10 little X dot positions to our right? If we wanted to check to our left, we'd put minus 10. But we're checking to our right, so we put plus 10. So now if we wanted to check like up and down, we'd put X and then we'd put Y uh, plus 10 for down or minus 10 for up. So we're checking to our right. So we put x plus 10, y, obg under slash wall. And then if the wall is directly in front of us, it's going to show a message. So, you know what this is actually going to do? Because it's in the step event, it's going to spam that message infinitely. So that will be fun. Let's check it out. It might crash my computer. Who knows? Oh, okay, a beautiful purple background. So, yeah, W and, or I mean, A and D moves us. And bam, a wall is in front of you. A wall is in front of you. A wall is in front of you. I know! Help me! Oh, I am stuck for life. Uh, okay. If that ever happens to you, hold the escape key. Because uh, that'll exit you out of it sooner or later. So, instance place is a cool little uh, code. 
And last tutorial, we learned about putting exclamation marks before a condition. That doesn't just work with variables. That will work with this thing right here. We could put if exclamation mark instance place, blah, blah, blah. If it's not 10 pixels in front of us, you know, X positions in front of us, then show this message. So right away, as soon as the game starts, it's going to show this message. Why? Because it's checking if we are not 10 positions in front of it instead of if we are so it the message will show right away because it's just saying alright if you're anywhere other than 10 little X positions before this object then I'm gonna spam bomb you with my message so we can go ahead and see it oh and it's gonna lie to us it's gonna say a wall is in front of me technically it is but it's way over there alright so this would be a fun game just keep clicking enter nothing ever happens so just hold escape and it'll get you out of it so this exclamation mark will work for a lot of things and remember this instance position it's so useful and it's just something to remember leading up to what we're about to learn so there you go